what is meant by market value added market value added is the difference between total current market value of the firm or company and amount of capital contributed by the investors for equity and debt instruments in other words it is the additional value added to the book value of the invested capital mva is equal to v minus k v is equal to market value of the firm as indicated by the current market price of each instrument in firm's capital structure k is equal to book value of amount invested in the firm higher the mva the better it is a high MVA indicates that the firm has created substantial wealth for its shareholders. The aim of the company should be to maximize market value added. What is the relationship between economic value added and market value added? 1. EVA and MVA almost always move in the same direction. 2. EVA reflects performance of the company for a specified period and MVA shows the performance of a company for its entire lifetime. Which is better measure of value addition for a company, EVA or MVA? EVA is the better measure. Now, what is the reason for saying that? 1. MVA cannot be applied for divisions or units of a firm, whereas the same can be found for economic value added. 2. Cash returns to the shareholders as dividends is not accounted in market value added, unlike economic value added, where dividends paid in cash will be accounted in the cost of capital used in the formula. 3. Market value added is highly volatile than economic value added since market prices of equity and preference shares are largely dependent on the people's opinion in capital markets, whereas economic value added derives its value from the performance reports like profit and loss account and balance sheet. 4. EVA can be derived for a particular time period whereas MVA denotes the value for life till then. 5. EVA takes opportunity cost into account whereas it is not possible in market value added. Let us now do a problem to test our understanding till now. The following information are supplied to you by Able Limited. Equity shares of face value rupees 10, 5 lakh 80,000, 12 percent preference shares of face value rupees 10, 1 lakh 50,000, 10 percentage debentures of face value rupees 10, 5 lakh, term debt taken at 15 percent interest is 2 lakh, financial le leverage 1.2, securities premium account 40,000, capital reserve 10,000, general reserve 20,000, statutory reserve 60,000, income tax rate 30 percentage. The industry to which Able Limited belongs has a practice of paying at least 15% dividends to its shareholders. The ordinary shares are quoted at a premium of 400%, preference shares at Rs. 25 and debentures at a discount of 20%. You are required to calculate EVA and MVA of the company and also explain the reason for the difference, if any, between the two. Now let us see how to answer this question. First part of answering should be on the economic value added. We know that economic value added is equal to no PAT minus weighted average cost of capital. No PAT is equal to profit after tax plus interest which is net of tax but we are not provided with the value of profit after tax. However, we are given that financial leverage is equal to 1.2. Formula for finding financial leverage is equal to profit before interest and taxes divided by profit before interest and taxes minus interest. 
Hence, 1.2 is equal to profit before interest and tax divided by profit before interest and tax minus interest. To find out the profit before interest and taxes from this formula, we need to find the total interest expense of the ABLE Limited. Interest on debentures is equal to 10 percentage on 5 lakh which amounts to rupees 50,000. The company also has a long term debt which amounts to rupees 2 lakh and 15 percentage interest on the same amounts to rupees 30,000. Hence the total interest expense is rupees 80,000. Substituting the value of interest expense in the formula to find profit before interest and taxes we get 1.2 is equal to profit before interest and taxes divided by profit before interest and taxes minus 80,000 which is rupees 4,80,000. Now let us find the value of profit after tax since no part is equal to profit after tax plus interest net of tax. Profit before interest and taxes is equal to 4,80,000 less interest 80,000 which gives the profit after interest but before tax as rupees 4 lakh. Tax at the rate of 30 percentage is 1,20,000 and hence we get the profit after interest and taxes as rupees 2,80,000. Now let us also find weighted average cost of capital for ABLE Limited. We are said in the question that company has a prevailing practice of paying 15% dividend to its shareholders. Hence we can assume that the expected rate of return on equity to be 15%. Hence the cost of equity capital is equal to 15%. This 15% is applied as the cost of capital for equity shareholders fund which includes equity share capital 5,80,000, securities premium 40,000, capital reserve 10,000 and general reserve 20,000 which turns out to be Rs. 6,50,000. It is assumed that statutory reserves is not a free reserve since it is not available for dividend distribution. Therefore, it has been taken, it has not been taken in calculation of weighted average cost of capital. Preference shares amounting to Rs. 1,50,000 carry a cost of 12% on the company. Debenja holder fund of Rs. 5 lakh having a net cost of 7% which is the 70% of the original cost of 10% and long term debt of 2 lakh with net cost of 10.5% which is the result of 70% of the initial 15 percentage cost of the debt. Percentage of constitution of each of the above items are found to be 0 0.43, 0 0.1, 0 0.33, 0 0.133 respectively. Weighted average cost of capital for each item is found by multiplying weights column and cost column which gives the cost as 6.45 percentage, 1.2 percentage, 2.3% and 1.47% which results in total weighted average cost of capital as 11.43%. Hence the total cost of capital is found by multiplying capital employed of Rs 15 lakhs and weighted average cost of capital of 11.43% which turns out to be Rs 1,71,450. Substituting the above found answers in our solution, we get profit after tax as 2,80,000, add interest net of tax which is 80,000 into 70% which results in no pat of Rs. 3,36,000. Weighted average cost of capital as per our workings are deducted from NOPAT resulting in economic value added of 1,64,550. Next, we shall calculate the market value added which is the difference between market value of the firm and total capital contributed to the company through equity and debt. Total market value of the firm is the sum of market value of units issued to the market for capital infusion. This includes equity share capital at 500% of the original value which is Rs. 29 lakh. 
preferent shares of rupees 10 valued at rupees 25 making it to be rupees 375000 and debentures issued in the market currently valued at 20 percentage discount making it to be 4 lakh hence the total market value of the firm is 3675000 all capital contributed into the firm through shares and debt along with its free reserves are subtracted from the above market value of the firm whose sum amounts to 15 lakh 60 thousand hence the market value added is found to be rupees 21 lakh 15 thousand the mva of rupees 21.15 lakhs is the difference between the current market value of able limited and the capital contributed by the fund providers while eva measures current earning efficiency of the company mva takes into account the eva from not only the assets in place but also from the future projects or activities of the company the difference between MVA over EVA thus represents the value attributed to the future potential for the company and may change from time to time based on the market sentiments. In short, MVA is the net present value of all future EVAs.